Hey, greetings again, Christ Church. This is Tyson Smith, and I hope this video finds you doing well. I uh, wanted to share another song with you. Uh, hopefully it can be an encouragement. This one is rather unique in that our very own Pastor Nate wrote the words to this song. Uh, he wrote a poem based on Psalm 116 and sent it over to me and asked if I'd uh, put a melody to it. And uh, a couple years back, as a matter of fact, so this is the first time we've ever played this tune for anyone. So hope you enjoy it. I've asked uh, Hunger and JP and Nate to play along, and it's all kind of virtually, so it'll be interesting to see how it all comes together. I look forward to that. And uh, I've also asked Nate to share a little bit about what he was thinking in writing these words, what kind of drew him in about Psalm 116 and uh, inspired him to be re one reading that psalm and what he was kind of going through uh, to write these beautiful words. And there's a line in here I absolutely love. It's kind of the climax, in, in my opinion, but of the song. It says, I have vowed that I am your slave. And he says, I set you free. And I, I just love this idea that we were bought with a price. It takes us recognizing that we are not our own, that we belong to God. And he then in turn grants us this freedom and, that we experience in this life and in the next. So this is Psalm 116. Uh, for now, there's no other name to it. So I hope you enjoy it. I love the Lord because He hears me. He bends His ears in eyes when sorrow For the Lord preserves the lonely and saves us by His grace. Return my soul now to your rest. I Heart were filled with tears, my feet. 
bless you all. Hey, Christ Church, uh, I'm excited that Tyson's sharing with you Psalm 116, which is a beloved psalm to me. And I was uh, really an honor to get to work on this project with him. And a couple of reasons why Psalm 16 is so meaningful to me. Um, the first is the way the psalm begins. It says, I love the Lord because he hears my voice. And then it goes on to say, therefore, I will call on him as long as I live. And, and whenever I've read that psalm, I love the Lord because he hears my voice. It brings me back to when I first became a Christian and I was, my, I was totally lost. As many of you know, I was sent away as a teenager to a behavioral modification program. And I cried out to God. I told God, I don't even know if you exist, and, and, but I need your help. And he listened to me. This punk kid, uh, God took my prayer seriously. And I always felt like that's why I love him is he listens to those who cry out to him, the brokenhearted. And uh, so I love the Lord because he hears me. Um, another reason why this psalm is, is really special to me, um, several, several years ago when Bob Newell, who was a member of our congregation, went to be with the Lord. He was 88, and um, I was there for a pastoral visit and uh, with his wife, Irene, and we were sitting around the bed, and he was in his uh, final moments, and I, I read Psalm 116 to him, and as I said the words, precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints, he breathed his last. Those were his final words he heard, and it was the Lord saying to me, these words are true, and it was, it was one of the moments that I felt closer to the Lord than I have in my whole life, and Irene was there, and it's just a special moment that we've, uh, we got to share to be there with Bob, and, and I'll never forget it. So this psalm is, is dear to my heart, and I hope it's a blessing to you all as well.